Externally, I had a happy childhood. I had two parents who loved me, two younger sisters. I was the oldest of three girls. But internally, I was so lonely. When I got into high school, I found roller derby. And I lost a lot of weight when I was doing it. A lot of weight. Boys that never noticed me started noticing me. And there was just somebody that I met at a party one night. And, you know, I was leaving and we were just, I was going home to be alone. And he was there. And I got pregnant with a boy that I didn't have no reason being with. I wasn't with him. He wasn't my boyfriend. We weren't even together. We, he didn't love me. He didn't want a baby. He didn't want me. <laughs> he gave me money and he said, take care of it. I called Planned Parenthood because they help women. And I had no idea the concept of pregnancy centers or help. I wanted a baby. Um, I had come to the idea and I was like, maybe I can do this. And then my mom told me very clear, you can't. And it was probably like an hour and a half drive, maybe more, from College Station to Houston. I had to pass my parents' house to get there. The doctor um, made no eye contact. I couldn't even see his face. Um, but it was quick. We went to Mexico. We did it, and that's it. We never spoke of it again. And I was gonna take it to my grave and not tell anyone ever, because inside I was still so ashamed and I hated myself. Everybody else thought I was doing great, but inside I was barely hanging on. So I was laying on my couch one night, and I just remember crying out to God and being just overwhelmed with agony and remorse. And I was just broken. And I just cried out to Him, and I asked Him, please forgive me. I'd heard about Rachel's Vineyard years ago. But when I actually did finally get the courage to reach out, I finally found some peace. Every single one of those people, especially all the volunteers and, and the Rachel's um, folks, they loved me. I mean, I could see it in their eyes. I could feel it in their touch and their warmth. Being loved, that changes your life. It gives you a feeling and a purpose that you don't ever want to be without. And I'm not alone. I saw all my friends having babies, and my brother had a baby, and I felt like I was never, God was never going to give me the opportunity to do that because of what I had done. When I found out I was pregnant with Layla, once again, I felt like I was 16, alone and scared. One day I was just driving around. I didn't know where I was going or what I was doing. And I saw a lady and a man just standing outside. And she told me, she's like, do you know what this building is? And I was like, no. <laughs> she said, it's an abortion clinic. And she did not know I was pregnant. I was asking her questions like for a friend, but it was really for me. It, I felt like it was really easy to say there's help, but unless I see the help, I still was, I was still wasn't sure what I was gonna do with the baby. She gave me information like there's many options, there's so much help out there. So I told her I was pregnant and she just had this beautiful smile with her light eyes just glittering. And she gave me a lot of resources. And once I saw all that help, I thought, maybe I can do this. Her advice really, really helped me. If I wouldn't have stopped with her, 
I don't know. I don't think I would have Layla right now. Thank you.